Hi guys, I'm Sushmita Agarwal from Miss Pink Shoes and welcome back to my channel. A very 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 happy Valentine's Day to all of you. I really hope you have a year and your entire day filled with lots of love, care and happiness. So today's video is something that I'd been wanting to do for quite some time, but I was honestly very scared and nervous. I didn't really know how I would talk about something like this and I don't know if it would help you guys or not, but my whole intention behind this video is to share my story and tell you guys about something that i feel is extremely important so there are a zillion kinds of love in this world there's the love for your parent for your teacher for your sibling boyfriend girlfriend your husband wives your hobby a celebrity god knows what all so there are so many things to love so many people to love so many kinds of love in this world but i feel there is this one specific kind which is the most important but it's ignored the most and that is self love i feel self love is so important but the idea of it is so lost these days people think self love is just loving yourself and you know appreciating your own beauty and just putting yourself out there but it's not just about that self love to me means truly and deeply accepting yourself for who you are and loving yourself exactly the way you are in your shape form and skin so i'm going to share a bit of my story with you guys so you get an idea you know why i'm talking about all of this so until 4 years ago i used to be really really thin and i was i think 10 15 kilos lighter than what i am right now i used to wear like extra small small so you guys can get an idea how thin i was and i never had acne issues in my life and i was a decent student at school i would listen to everybody so everybody only had good things to say about me and i used to be very proud of myself and i never really knew what it meant to be insecure or shy or any of those things especially appearance related because i never really had major issues and then what happened uh, after school got over is where i started putting on weight like right after i started going to college so i started uh, putting on weight and it's not something that i was unaware about because i could see myself in the mirror every single day and i knew that i was putting on weight especially when clothes wouldn't fit me and things like those would happen i know i'm putting on weight and i really didn't need you know everyone around me reminding me about it or you know taunting me about it and everything but yeah that did happen and all that people cared about is how much weight i've been putting on what's my size and they they used to say stuff like you used to look so much better and oh my god what happened to you like i had to like i'm you know i got a disease or something i think putting on weight is so natural i'm not saying it's the healthiest thing on earth it's definitely unhealthy but yeah it's extremely natural and i don't seem to understand why people make such a big deal about it and it just pissed me off a lot when it was happening it's been happening for the past 4 years now i'm used to it i've gotten over it but yes there was a point where it pissed me off a lot it made me really sad and upset i used to feel really fat i used to stand in front of the mirror and hate myself i would not at all like what i'm looking at and it was a tough time for me it was really really hard and if you're somebody who's going through that i'm sure you'll understand what i'm trying to say because it can get really difficult especially with the kind of nagging people we are surrounded by in this society it can get really hard so as you guys know right now i have a couple of issues with my skin i've been breaking out a lot and earlier like at least 4 months back i never had any acne issues i had like one or two pimples and that's all the last four months it's been increasing so much and again all that people care about is what's on my face and it hurts me so much and makes me really sad that the all people care about is the way you look and it's on the outside what matters where well, as a matter of fact beauty appearances fade they go off you're going to grow older you're not going to look young after you know every day you're aging you're going to look older day by day and beauty will fade it's what's on the inside that really matters and i feel that if that's being ignored it's definitely the worst thing but you can't really help it you can't do anything about it people are going to be the way they are all you can do and all you can help is yourself and all you can do is work on yourself and make you love you 
I know it sounds kind of weird that make you love you, but I really feel that there's so many people who are so insecure about themselves. They don't really love themselves from the inside, and I feel like the moment you start doing that, your world is going to change, your life is going to change, everything around you is going to change because you're only and only going to be filled with positivity, with happiness, and with contentness inside. And after I've done that. Guys, my life has been so much more peaceful. I've been more productive. I've been working more, and I've been stressing less. That's making me work more, and that's making me more active in life in every manner. And I can feel a difference in myself and in the kind of work that I'm doing. That it's getting better, at least in my opinion, it is. And that's all because I'm calm and happy on the inside. And I. Honestly, was always okay with the way I am, but I still used to let people's words affect me, and I don't anymore. If I want to lose weight, I will do it because I want to do it for myself, and I want to do it to keep me happy and not anybody else happy. I'm working on my skin because it makes me sad. It is a sign that I'm I'm healthy from the inside. So I am working on my skin. I'm gonna work on my body when I want to, and. It's just something that I feel somebody should do it for themselves to keep themselves happy and to keep and to, you know to take care of yourself. So all I'm trying to say through this video, guys, is that love yourself, accept yourself for the way you are. You are amazing. You are perfect. There's nobody like you. There's nobody that can ever be like you. So be the best you. Love yourself. Cherish yourself. And I think the moment you start doing that from the inside. Everything else will fall in place. Everything else will be on point. Everything in your life will be the way you want it to be if you make yourself the way you want yourself to be. So it all starts from you. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Accept yourself the way you are. Wear what you like. Do what you like. Go where you like. Don't you know restrict yourself to what the society tells you to be. Be the person you want to be. and be comfortable in your own skin is all i would like to tell you guys i really hope this sort of helps you if you're somebody going through the kind of things that i did i had nobody to you know say these things to me and i really wish there was somebody there so yeah that's the whole intention i love you all so much thank you all for all the support that you've given me it has really been an an encouraging factor in every tough moment of my life especially after i've been blogging So yeah thank you all so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video happy valentines to you again bye